Hey guys, good afternoon. This is Ryan Castore with the South Florida Wet Shavers. Um, I'm going to be doing my afternoon shave today. However, uh, this video is uh, primarily just to lather a little bit more difficult soap that some people have experienced. Um, there's the conversation that Jeff had, um, you know, in regard to the Williams Mug Soap. And uh, since I don't have any more of that, I am going to use the Mitchell's Wool Fat, which is an equally challenging soap if you read reviews online. And I'm going to show you what I do to uh, to get a nice lather consistently. So this the soap has been soaking and blooming in uh, hot water for a couple minutes now. I don't know if you can see the dripping off, but um, but I use that bloom, uh, and I know John Romanoff does as well, to prepare the face prior to doing a face lather. So uh, secondly, I'm going to be using my bore brush, uh, just my Samog Owners Club. Uh, I, I love the bigger knot because I can manipulate it, get it where I need to. Um, and I like the, the coarseness of the bristles when going in a harder soap as well. So to get my face ready, I'll simply just take the, you know, that little excess water, put it into the hands, have a nice soapy mixture, warm it up a little bit, and then apply it to the whiskers. Now I have a coarser beard. You know, what you're looking at here is only about a day and a half worth of growth, actually probably closer to a day. Um, but thick enough that, you know, I need that little extra prep. prep. Uh, with that being said, I, I'm not a fan of pre-shave oils. Uh, personally, I can't stand them. I think they're an extra product, and I try to keep things as, as simplistic as possible, as you'd have seen from my other posts. So in terms of the uh, lathering the wool fat, uh, similar, I do the Williams the same way. I'll start off with a slightly damp brush, not dripping wet. Uh, but damp enough because the soap's already bloomed a little bit. So then I'll get a nice load on this brush because the, the soap's already been uh, softened up. And you'll see fairly quickly that it already starts to build, you know, build onto it. You're not trying to lather in the container. Just get a nice, nice build going on your brush. Now, personally, I've never had an issue with the Mitchell's wool fat. Uh, I know, you know, quite a few people have. Um, I, I find it to be a, a very great soup, or soap, excuse me, soup, right? Um, and then uh, just something that lathers very well consistently. Cool. So with that, we'll go ahead and start face lathering. Now, what you'll see throughout this lather is I do switch hands because I, I try to train my left hand to do everything that my right hand can do. Same thing with shaving with the straight razor. So in the event I ever lose it, then I'm not out. Cool. So now it's time to add water to it because I can feel it starting to stick a little bit. So I'll splay the bristles, take some water, Drip on the inside. Now these soaps love water. And then continue lathering. And there's no one specific way to do this. You know, I try to really just lift the whiskers, get a really clear covering of it. And typically, this will last me three passes. I could go four if I need to, but never really have a need for it. Okay. And time for some more water. If, you're, if your soap, when you're lathering, feels like it's drying too quickly, especially as you're shaving, you need more water. If it feels like the soap's going away very quickly, then uh, you've got too much water and you just need to keep whipping it in place. Let you see what this starts looking like here. See how the peaks are forming? This here means I still need more water, still too thick. If I were to start shaving with this right here, yeah, I could, I could do it based on how quick you wanna go. But this is a relaxing, enjoyable one, so I'm going to add some more water and uh, keep on working it.
Just about there. So what you're looking for uh, with your lather here is a nice, just consistent, not you know, not too thick, but enough that it, you can form peaks, um, and, and they actually hold. You know, I, I look at this like a meringue that you would put on a pie. Um, you know, when you put it in the oven, you want to be able to form peaks. If they start, you know, if you start losing the soap, then a little bit too much water. And just keep whipping it up. When you're ready to when you're ready to shave, uh, typically what I'll do is I'll I'll put this into a, like a little ceramic cup, um, and uh, you know let it sit for my next couple passes here. But as you can tell, um, you know. It's just a really, really slick, very, very nice lather. And it's, it becomes consistent each and every time. So in totality, so far I've used probably, you know, about two tablespoons worth of water and, and working this, and I'm actually adding a little bit more to show you. It's okay if you have a little bit, you know, a little bit too much water. You just got to keep on working it. So you already saw what was a good shave ready one. You know, I added more water. I'm just working it in there. Cool. So my favorite part, not the way I test all my lathers is if I'm able to, you know, be able to form these little balls and stack them. So I'll do a little stack right here with my hands so you can see you know, how it can just stack on top of each other. Forms a nice peak, nice, smooth, creamy, consistent lather, and just feels great. It's a little brush there. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me um, a private message or post a comment, and uh, I can work through whatever soaps you guys want. Thinking about it as I'm cleaning up here, I figured, um, you know, looking at, looking at my face, you know, is one thing with the lather, but for a lot of you guys, you want to see how it potentially could shave. So uh, I'm gonna do a pass for you and show you very little pressure, you know, very quick, nice and easy, and uh, you know, just how great these soaps are. So as you can tell, very, very quick, very, very clean. Um, you know, nice, slick, and smooth. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal soap. And um, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my shave, enjoy the rest of my day here, and uh, you know, see you guys in a bit.